Welcome to Keyence's guide to viewing the beam status of the GLR series light curtains via networking to a PLC. In this video, I'll be covering what components you need to use, how you need to connect the components, how to establish the connection to a PLC, and how to view the beam status in that PLC. If you want to see the beam status of your GLR series in your PLC, you need to connect the GLR series light curtains to the GC1000 safety controller from Keyence. Specifically, you need to connect the GLR series light curtains to the GC1000 safety controller via one of the GC link ports on top of the GC1000. This will allow the light curtains to communicate the status of each beam axis to the controller, which can then be accessed via networking on the PLC. To set up the GC1000 safety controller, you'll need the GC configurator software. The only thing you need to do in the software, beyond the normal steps of making a program, is to assign an IP address to your GC, and then select the networking protocol you're using. The last thing I'll do in the GC Configurator software is transfer the file over to the controller using the default password of 1111. After this, I'll approve the settings report and set the controller to run mode. Now I'm all done and I'll move on to the PLC. In the PLC, we'll start with adding the GC module to the program. There's an EDS file for download from keyins.com. I'll include the link in the description of the video. Once you've got a name and an IP address, click on the Change button. This will allow us to set up what data is being transferred between the GC and the PLC. Instead of communication input slash status data, we'll want to use a GLR monitor for the correct port the curtains are plugged into. An important note here, make sure the connection type is set as short integer or sint, which should be the default, or else the AOI won't work later. We can press OK to everything now and move on to adding the AOI we'll use for this process, which can also be downloaded from keyins.com via the link in the description. Once I've imported the AOI, I'll add it to a rung in the program. Then I've got to fill out the three fields of the AOI. The top field is going to be a new tag, which contains all the backend information for the AOI and we won't ever really reference it. The middle field is where we want to find and then insert the dot data array from our GC modules input data. The bottom field is the main tag we'll be using going forward as it will contain within it all of the beam status data that we're looking for. Once I've created all the tags, I'll monitor the control tags and then set the controller to run mode. Monitoring the tags, I can see that there is a lot of information that I can use, but what we'll turn our attention to is the very bottom array called access on. I would recommend changing the data type to binary to make it easier to interpret the data we're looking at. In this form, each bit that is a one represents a beam that is clear, and each bit that is a zero represents a beam that is currently blocked or misaligned. Right now, all of my beams on my curtain, which has 12 beams in total, are unblocked. As I run my finger down through the curtain from top to bottom, you can see how the bits behave one by one. It's possible to apply this information we're looking at to make some really cool applications work, such as the position and size confirmation of an object traveling through the curtains.